Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at some Y pass questions on density. So without further delay, let's begin. So we want to look at the SSC in November 2001, question number 5D. I. We are to distinguish between density and relative density of a substance. I. I. A solution is made by dissolving 50 grams of salt in 250 cm cube of water. We are to calculate the density of water in kilogram per meter cube. Alright, so let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem. So the first one we look at is what is density and relative density or the difference between them. So the density of a substance is the ratio of its mass to its volume. So the mass of the substance to the mass to the volume of the substance is what we call the density of the substance. So we can represent that mathematically. So you can write the English form that is the ratio of mass to volume or you can say mathematically density density is equal to mass of a substance or you can just say mass to volume of a substance and that should give you your correct answer now relative density can be defined as the ratio of the density of a substance to the density of water so i take that again the relative density of a substance can be defined as the density of the substance to the density of water so relative density relative density is equal to the density density of a substance of a substance to the density density of water so that becomes our relative density all right so let's look at ii we we're, were told that a salt solution is made by dissolving 50 grams of the salt so we have the mass of the salt so mass of salt equals 50 grams in 250 cm cube of water so we have the volume of water so i'll just make it vw is 250 cm cube and we're told to calculate the density of the solution so we have to find the density rho of the solution so the density of the solution is unknown right now the density of the solution from the definition we gave earlier on the density of the solution will be equal to the mass of the solution mass of solution to to the volume of the solution which in this case is a salt solution now if you look at it we only have the mass of salt and then the volume of water we don't have the mass of the solution and then the volume of the solution so that is what we need to do so first of all density of water density of water is one gram per cm cube if you don't know now you know it's constant it's one gram per cm cube and we were given the volume of water to be 250 cm cube it means that we can find the mass of water very easily we know that density is equal to mass over volume so i'll make it mass of water volume of water density of water this implies that the density of water sorry this implies that the mass of the mass of water is equal to the product of the density of water and the volume of water so this will give us the density is one gram per cm cube multiplied by the volume which is 250 cm cube cm cube will cancel per cm cube one times 25 or one multiplied by 25 will give us 250 and then we are left with only the gram so therefore the mass of water 
is equal to 250 grams. So our mass of water is 250 grams. Okay, so now that we have the mass of water, let's look at the mass of the solution. So the mass of the solution will be equal to the mass of water and the mass of salt. So this will be equal to the mass of water is 250 gram like we just found and then the mass of salt is 50 grams so this will give us a total of 300 grams which when we convert into kilogram we multiply by 10 raised to the power minus 3 so this becomes 300 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 kilogram as in kg now that we have the mass of the solution and then we know that once we add the salt to the water it will dissolve in the water and then the volume of the water will still be the same just that the salt will dissolve in the water so the volume will still be 250 cm cube now let's convert that into uh, meters cube because the question said we should find the density in kilogram per meter cube so we've already found the mass of our solution in kilogram let's find the volume in uh, meter cube all right so let me erase this all right now our volume of water will be equal to our volume of solution because after adding the salt nothing will change so it is going to be 250 cm cube now one centimeter is equal to or is equivalent sorry hundred centimeters is equivalent to one meter so now if we cube these guys we are going to get a million here this guy will become a million so one two three one two three cm cube will be equivalent to or equal to one meter cube it means that one million cm cube is equal to one meter cube and so if we have 250 cm cube and we want to convert it into meter cube we do cross multiplication or we divide 250 by a million so this becomes our volume of solution okay in meter cube becomes 250 cm cube over a million which is 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter sorry centimeter cube okay so this becomes 250 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 as our answer now i made a mistake this is supposed to be a million is supposed to be 10 raised to the power 6 not minus 6 at the bottom so this is supposed to be let me correct that really well so so the volume of solution that is in meter cube is equivalent to or equal to 250 cm cube on 1 times 10 raised to the power 6 which is a million cm cube so this will cancel this out and then the times 10 raised to the power 6 will go to the top becomes minus 6 and then we have meter cube over here so this becomes the volume of our solution so now that we have the volume of the solution and we already know the mass of the solution we can easily go ahead and calculate the density of the solution so therefore the density of the solution in this case is equal to the mass of the solution which we found earlier on and that is 300 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 so 300 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 kilogram on the volume of the solution which is 250 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube and so if we divide this by this we are going to get 1200 
kilogram per meter cube as the density of our solution all right so let's look at the second example that we have for number two this is the wasi november 2009 question number 5a it says i what is relative density we already looked at that i i a stone weighs 2.5 newton in air 1.5 newton in water and 1.7 newton in kerosene we are to determine the relative density of kerosene all right so let's proceed to look at the solution to this problem now relative density like we said can be defined mathematically mathematically as so we have relative density equals the density density of a substance the ratio of the density of a substance to the density of water and that becomes our relative density all right so that is for i i i we're told that a stone weighs so the weight of stone is 2.5 newton in air so it's uh weight in air and then 1.5 in water so weight in water is 1.5 newtons and then uh, weight in kerosene weight in kerosene so weight in kerosene is 1.7 newton we have to calculate the relative density of the kerosene now so far we've seen that density is relative density is equal to density of a substance compared to density uh, of water now in case where we are not given density and we are giving weight then we use a formula that we call now relative density becomes something we call uptrust that is the weight displayed by an object in in a medium or in a in a fluid right so we call it uptrust so this the formula will not be uptrust in kerosene which is our substance uptrust in kerosene uh kerosene this e to uptrust in water uptrust in water so that becomes our relative density now uptrust in something means the relative density sorry means the weight in air minus the weight in kerosene and then uptrust in water becomes the weight in air minus the weight in water so here becomes uptrust in kerosene becomes weight in air minus weight in kerosene and then uptrust in water becomes weight in air minus weight in water so our weight in air is 2.5 so 2.5 here minus weight in kerosene is 1.7 on weight in air is still 2.5 and then weight in water is 1.5 so this will give me 0 0.8 at the top on 1.0 at the bottom or 1 so this is why is it so far away so um this is 1.0 and so therefore 0 0.8 divided by 1 will give me 0 0.8 as my answer so the relative density of kerosene is 0 0.8 in this case now note that because relative density is a ratio of density to density the units cancel out and so relative density does not have any unit so 0 0.8 is your answer so thank you so much for watching i hope you've learned something new and i'll see you in the next video bye bye